we're going to get into some band-made news. I just got a, a little bit of stuff, but of course, Ryan, whatever you have, I'll let you go first, and then uh, I'll mention whatever you don't mention. What do I have? Oh, well, uh, there's somebody who's at their last show and decided to share a little bit about it. Um, That's exactly what I was going to talk about, so perfect. Go ahead. All right, all right. Uh, it seems uh, they, they put up a set list, their whole set list. So I don't know if you got that, Alan. Oh, no, you go ahead and do that. Mine's something different. Okay. It's about the show. So, All right, we're so gonna, the show we're started about 20 this. minutes late due to a portion of Psyche's outfit being left behind and people having to throw an impromptu skirt together for. I think they, oh, they no. put out a tweet about that, and it yes. had a kind of a, a setup of, the, of uh, the whole band trying to fix her skirt, and then yep. that showed a close-up of some safety pins holding on some of the skirt portion to a belt. Let me show it to everyone Dang. so they can see it. You got so, that. Just yeah, what I do. you need right before So this show is the is belt she was supposed stressed. to have on or whatnot so that was the belt she's supposed to have on and then this is what it was ah sorry this is like mst <laughs> I'm just and then yeah oh. so that's what it was without the belt so yeah right wait what the fuck are we looking at <laughs> part, part of her, her, her know, outfit wasn't fashion. staying on so they had to they had to figure out a way to fix it is all, is all it so they yeah. suppose like 20 minutes late fixed. because of Look that it. See? Uh-huh. yeah now now it's all fixed <laughs> all better <laughs> of course konami <laughs> okay so uh the set list uh looks like start out with sense then afterlife then play freedom and unleash that is a hell of a first five songs yeah, hell yeah it is uh, small MC, then Choose Me, About Us, Catharsis, then Corallium, then Psionic Adori. Holy shit. It's a great set list. Yeah. Uh, from Now On, their new instrumental, Habana, Warning, Giovanni, and Glory. Man, there is some... They're changing up what they play. That's did they? Uh, nice. Did you say they were starting with Sense? First song. Yeah, so that's a, they did that on the Summer Sonic too, right? Yep. That, well, that was they did the instrumental first, and then they went into Sense. Yes, right? but, yes, they didn't. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm just gonna ask you guys your opinion on this because uh, when I was watching the show, I just kind of like was thinking because they were having those technical difficulties in the beginning during Sense, right? And I was saying that like I think it's usually a good idea to not put like your most one of your most complicated type of songs in the very beginning in case there are technical difficulties. Yeah. It's easier to work through that with a, a simpler song. Like if you, they were to start with like a dom, uh, like a Wonderland or a Freedom or so something. So they have to go back like to that. their first album then for less complicated, I guess. Well, like we, we saw <laughs> Psyche during that show, she she pointed to her monitor and you know trying to sound guy trying to get her volume up, but there's no time for her to confirm whether it's it's the right volume. There's so much like you're talking about exactly right, Champ. There's so much going on that she had no time to like like yeah that's good yeah <laughs> with a it's song non-stop. like that it's chaos right so it's yeah. like when you go from part to good part point. in like a matter of seconds it's really hard to readjust any issues like that but if you have a song that starts off with like maybe a longer verse that kind of stays consistent you have time to adjust that a little bit from the sound point, point of view and i'm not right. saying like obviously not everybody you know it, it, it it's not gonna happen like that every time no, but i just think it's generally story. like a good idea to, to start with a, a one that's a little simpler and then go into the more more complicated one after that um yeah, so i do have I some i do have some stuff to add to what your part of your news just to, uh, about the show a shout out to poho jisan i'm sorry if i yep. said that wrong he uh he uh put together some twitter comments for us about the show so thank you thank you so much for the information so so there's uh, here's a summary of those twitter uh comments so all the this is what they said from when they were there all the unseen world songs are even better live. Crowley and Hibana are amazing, including Psyche singing. From now on is the strongest instrumental song ever. These are comments, of course, summarizing Twitter comments. The special intro for Hanukkah and No God is really cool. Giovanni was amazing, amazingly many times better than the CD. Really excited to hear that. What? I wonder if we'll be able Me to hear too. that. Me too. Yeah. Me too, man. And the end that beginning for No God. I, I am so curious about a special intro for that song. Yeah, Misa yeah. especially. I still seek revenge. It's too good, and um, and then of course we have a photo here of Konami from when she was being scolded by Psyche <laughs> while Psyche was talking about the new EP in her uh, MC. Konami was doing some free action stretching or gymnastics in the back, so she got scolded. So again, Konami <laughs> was on a binge right from the start of the show, apparently flipping up Psyche and Miku's skirts and so on. So oh, um, man, having fun. A fan She's did still this going for art. that, huh? So a fan did this art of her all sad yeah, I'm not for, being, for being scolded. So I thought that was cute. 
Very cool. I love that oh. she she flipped up Miko's skirt on the Summer Sonic, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, like that's crazy!" And now she's just like, "Okay, now I'm going to do it to everybody." This, this is the thing I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my new thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the last uh, four songs in their set was "I Still I Still Seek Revenge" after the MC. "I Still Seek Revenge," "No God," "Different Domination." I'm oh, glad to see "I Still awesome. Seek Revenge" there because that's such a yeah. such a banger of a song they all are man that's a crazy amount of music to fucking play <laughs> i love that they're changing it up too yeah. i'm intrigued like, to hear giovanni and see how that's yeah, gonna sound you yeah, know like definitely. I'm pretty excited that's about that that's probably the thing that i'm most excited about too that's, yeah. it's just a guitar solo <laughs> it's like a four minute guitar solo yeah. yeah. I also love that Konami does random stuff like that. Like <laughs> during the day of May, she does the goggle thing. You're just like, what the heck? It's because so she's great. so awesome, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Did you have any more band made news? Nah, he pretty much uh, took it. For more brilliant insight like you just witnessed, be sure to subscribe to Gaijin, guys, and turn on notifications so you can be part of the live stream every Sunday. And also, what did Wave have me say? You can also find us wherever you listen to podcasts. You can find more exclusive content and reactions on Patreon. See you there.